I'm Rose Scovel with the Indianapolis Metropolitan Planning Organization. Welcome to our scenario planning survey, one of the opportunities to have input into our 2050 Metropolitan Transportation Plan. The survey URL is on your screen and you have until December 4th to complete the survey. Scenario planning, for our purposes, is thinking about the different ways Central Indiana could grow and change over the next 30 years. We started by combining the region's city, town, and county future land use maps into one master map that we call the base scenario. Then we created three more scenario options. The idea of a future land use map is pretty important for this survey. It is the plan general uses, like residential, commercial, industrial, and so on, for an area in the future. It isn't zoning, and it can include land use changes that occur over time through redevelopment. Like if an old strip mall is envisioned as apartments in the future, the future land use would change from commercial to residential. On the introduction slide in the survey, each scenario is presented with some information. Before we share the maps though, we wanna find out what you think is important for the region in 2050. Remember that today's 10 year olds will turn 40 in 2050. So we're asking you to consider their future. On the priorities slide, we want to know how you would invest between eight different choices for the future of the region. Distribute your coins according to what you think should be the priorities for Central Indiana in 2050. On the preferences slide, there are five trade-offs that we ask you to choose between and indicate the strength of your preference. These preferences will help us refine the final scenario policies. Click the tabs across the top or the right arrow at the bottom of the slide to move between the trade-offs. You can use the comment bubble to tell us more. The scenario slide can seem a little overwhelming, but it's very important. The base scenario is the one I mentioned before that is the compilation of all the local plans into a regional future map. On each of the scenarios, you can click a link to see the map and a legend in the way that you can zoom in and out. On the slide, you're asked to rate each scenario and can use the comment bubble to tell us more. The chart at the bottom left of the slide shows you how each scenario compares relative to the base scenario. The base scenario is neutral and everything is in the middle. For the other three scenarios, the arrows change to reflect how the scenario you're looking at is different from the base scenario. Remember, we're talking about 2050 and looking at a regional scale as you think about the scenarios. You can always use the information button at the top of the slide to get in the instructions again, or the comment bubble at the top to leave a general comment not related to a specific slide or question. When you're done rating the scenarios, click on the double right arrow at the top of the slide to go to the wrap up slide. Here we ask just a few questions about you so we can let people know if we captured input from all parts of the region and the diversity of people in the region. Because this is for the Metropolitan Transportation Plan, we would also like to know about how many cars you have and how often you use transit. Thank you for taking time to share your thoughts for the future of Central Indiana.